it's me Alex and I'm here today in Japan and I've just got back from buying a whole bunch of back to school supplies. <laughs> This little adventure turned out to be a lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be. I should have known because I decided to buy all this stuff while I was in Harajuku. So there's a street there called Takashita Street or some people call it Takashita Street. It's a kind of very, very touristy area so some of the prices are... They've really, you know, jacked the prices up because it's a bit of a tourist trap. This stuff, this is a little bit more expensive but it's really, really cute. This backpack is full and I have even more over here. So I think I'll just run through everything with you. There is a giveaway in this video, so stay tuned because I'm gonna send someone back to school with this backpack full of incredible Japanese stationery. So keep an eye out for that later in the video. Okay, so what we're looking for today is a complete checklist of back to school products. So it's been a little while since I was in school. I mean, like, quite some time. It feels like yesterday because the bullying is still very fresh in my mind. So my checklist here includes, we've got index cards. I don't even know, what is an index card? What? I googled this checklist, by the way. Index card, lunchbox, sharpie pens, highlighters, erasers, pencil sharpener, pencils, ballpoint pens, pencil pouch, glue stick, notebooks, calculator calendar, graph paper folders, hole punch protractor, whiteout, laptop printer, printer? Ink cartridges, laptop bag, lunch bags, post-it notes, binder, stick, slick new sneakers, Gym bag and gym socks. Okay. So I reckon we can find so many of those things in Wego, though if we head in here, now there's three or four Wegos in Takashita Street in Harajuku. So we can find as much as we can here, and then we can go all the way up the street and try and find different things. So I'll just check things off as I find them, and uh, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty busy in there, so hopefully we can navigate our way through. And yes, I do need glasses. I was walking along pretending I could see what I was looking at, but I really couldn't. Oh, slime, of course. <laughs> That's definitely a back to school necessity. with this backpack because I mean look at it it's glorious this was $50 now I didn't think that it was going to be that expensive when I walked into the shop and saw it on the stand I was like oh how cute yeah maybe 20 bucks 30 maybe and then I went to pay for it when she told me it was 5,000 yen I was like 
but you know that that awkward moment when they tell you the price and you're like oh crap and then you feel too awkward to take it back because you've made it that far and you've been waiting in line for 10 minutes we do have a $50 backpack it's got this beautiful embroidery on it here that says you're my friends um, I mean I don't think I ever said that to anyone in school because I didn't really have any friends but let's not talk about that look how much stuff that I'm pulling out of this bag this is like Hermione Granger's bag so we have one bag from WeGo we have a bag from the Sanrio gift gate we have a bag from a 350 yen store. We have a place called Picnic Harajuku. We've got another 390 yen store bag. And there's more. We have, uh, oh, this is from Sugar Rush. So all of that fits into this, but that's a lot of stuff. So definitely, Definitely gonna be able to fit everything you need for school in this bag. So that's probably $50 well spent. I also have another bag here from WeGo as well. And then I also have a Daiso bag here too. Gee, I don't even know where to start. I mean, the laptop bag is spilling out of the Daiso bag. So we can start here. This was two, no, not even two dollars, a dollar, a dollar and eight cents. I couldn't really find many cute laptop bags here, but I did get an amazing one from the Pokemon Center that's going to be in my Pokemon Center haul. But I liked this because I, I really liked the material and I figured you could stick a whole bunch of pins on here really easily. You could like pierce it with pins and decorate it how you like. We've got that, yep, classic notebook. It's got grids because apparently according to the checklist that I was reading, kids need gridded notebooks. It's been a long time since I was in school, guys. A very, very long time. I've forgotten what sort of equipment you need. You probably need this for maths and stuff from memory or for hiragana and katakana if you're studying Japanese. All the stuff from Daiso is a little bit boring. They have everything you could possibly need for school in Daiso, but it's kind of basic. So this is where all the incredible cute stuff is in these bags here. Let's get the basics over and done with. Colored markers, cute pens, can never have enough cute pens. They are essentials for every single school pencil case. Pastel colors, fluorescent markers. 10 points to Gryffindor. Marker pen, pastel colors. I got a, what do you call this? iPhone? Calculator? I'm so used to using my iPhone for maths. Uh, a calculator. It's a little bit boring. So, I have here some super glue. And I got a bunch of teeny tiny little decorations that people normally use to decorate phone cases and things like that. There's little flowers, there's chocolate bars, there's sprinkles, there's bows, cookies, <laughs> lollipops. So what we're gonna try and do is decorate this little calculator. <laughs> wow, how old am I? Gonna decorate the calculator with cute little decorations. And we also got a little hole punch too, and we're gonna decorate that one as well. We also got this, this is like the, the whipped cream kind of stuff that people use for decorating. I have never done this before, and I don't know if it just dries on its own, or if you have to do something to set it. I really hope that you don't have to do something to set it, because it's just gonna be a big gooey mess otherwise. So now that we've got the simple things out of the way, I got all of that stuff for $20. This place was insane. This place was called Sugar Crush. It was really chaotic. There were people absolutely everywhere and I kind of decided that there were kids all over the place. It must be back to school season in Japan or something because the kids were all with their moms and they were shopping and I just kind of watched all the things that the kids were drawn to. They were picking up pens and they were picking up notebooks and all this sort of thing and I kind of decided, you know that challenge where it's letting strangers in front of you, choose your makeup or choose your food. I was like, I'm gonna let these kids choose what I buy. So everything that the little kids were picking up and touching, I was like, that'll do, yep, I'll take that too, I'll take that. We have a couple of notebooks. These are really, really simple, but really cute. This one has a bunny and little carrots on it, and it's just a lined notebook. We got another one, which has a cactus and chili and banana and a carrot, and the banana saying, OMG. So cute. These are really cool. These are like um, plastic sleeve kind of binders. So I don't know what you'd want to use it for, but I'm sure you'll find a use for it. It's got unicorn party written on it. And this, the sprinkles, they move. Look, they meant to move. Hello, excuse me. There we go. Sprinkles, very sweet. And also speaking of sweet, pink sweet. So this one also has sprinkles that move. 
It's got ice creams on the front of it. And again, it's just like a sleeve that you can keep stuff in. These were so weird. I was staring at these and I couldn't figure out what they were. And then when I turned it over on the back, it's got instructions. These are scissors. Only in Japan do scissors look like pens. So one of them is going to be for the giveaway and one of them is going to be for me to open. Actually, I'll probably put both of them in the giveaway. I hope whoever receives this doesn't mind if I open these things to show them because, I mean, it'll save a bit of space too if I can pack everything into a little pencil case to ship it. But look, so this pen has unicorns all over it. It's not a pen, it's scissors. Look. <laughs> how weird is that? I, I don't know how good this will be at cutting. So we'll give it a go. We'll try and cut something up. But anyway, we've got two of those. One's got hedgehogs on it. This one's got little hedgehogs and this one's got unicorns. We have a pencil case. Now this is one that one of the kids picked up. She was begging her mum for this. So I was like, yep, got to get that one. It's got this really cute 3D milk carton on it. Cutie pack, special taste, my favorite milk, special day. <laughs> oh, it even says, it's pointing to the milk and it says 300 yen plus tax. They're teaching the kids about taxes young. I don't know what this is. It says paper soap. This could be an eraser, potentially, or maybe post-it notes on the inside. I don't really know. I'm going to assume it's an eraser. Okay, what is a paper soap? It's got a hedgehog on it saying hello. Oh my God, it's actually soap. No. Ah! It's actually paper? Oh, it's paper soap! Is it actually actual paper soap? I'm so confused. It smells like soap. If, if it smells like soap and uh, it looks like thin slices of soap, maybe it actually is soap? I think this is actually soap. What do you do with this? Let's come back to that one. We've got... Oh, this is so cute. Look, this is a little notepad. It's a milk carton. Cute little lined pages. Oh, all different types of pages. Cute. Okay, that's glorious. I don't know what you need a notepad for, but I'm sure it'll come in handy. This is so cool. I I love this. So this is my little my little pattern pattern. Uh, it's got all different cartons of milk on it, and it's an address book. So there's Japanese and English in here. So uh, you can put at the oh 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 look free space. Oh, there's stickers here. These are all stickers. Cute little different bottles of milk. Friends data. So it says name, address, telephone, mail, nickname, birthday, blood type. I don't know why you need to know your friend's blood type. Horoscope. You definitely need to know that. Make friends with a Virgo. There's a whole bunch of stuff for you to fill out. This is adorable. I used to love this stuff in school. We have various, I don't actually know what this is. This is strawberry milk stick marker. Hashtag book type. I'm assuming these are sticky notes. Ah! Uh, I guess that these are post-it notes. This is a big version of a post-it note, little post-it note. These are so cute. I don't know if this is a notepad or post-it notes or what, but it says sweet banana milk. That's so cute. Oh, it's a memo. Yep, okay, so this is a memo pad. Ah. <laughs> oh, fresh yummy milk and banana milk. But this is a pencil sharpener that looks like a camera. You put your pencil in the lens and that was $3. I wasn't sure if these were edible, but disclaimer, not edible. These are erasers that look like gummy bears. How cool is that? And they come in plastic packaging too, so it actually looks like real life gummy bears. Glorious. Correction tape that looks like a carrot. This is apparently a stapler. I, I don't know how. It says, I love unicorn. Um, let's open it up and see how this actually works. Cause when I was looking at it, I was like, it's so small and skinny. How can it possibly be a stapler? Ha ha! And, and it's got staples in it too. It's just so, so simplistic. I love it. There's a, a very simple ruler, which matches the stapler. And I bought that because some kids were frothing over it. The kids were picking up these rulers and going, cross on the cross on the cross on. <laughs> and they really wanted the ruler. Simple, but it's got a unicorn on it. So what more could you want? And then this, I think that this is another sticker book that looks like a cassette. Anyone that's actually in school, has probably never seen a cassette because if you're in school in 2019 cassettes have been extinct for a long time but anyway that's what that one looks like on the inside so they're all 
stickers, you know, sticky note kind of things too. This was a very tiny little store in a back alleyway. I only got two things, but they're Pokemon themed. This is an Eevee multi-purpose case. So you can use it for your glasses or for a pencil case, whatever you want. I mean, Eevee, I feel like Eevee is just a general all-rounder. Everyone loves Eevee. And it's also got Eevee's type, height and weight and Pokemon number as well. This is a card case that has Pikachu all over it. And it's got a little, I think they call that a carabiner clip or something. So you can keep your cards or whatever you want in there. Next. Oh. This store was so cool. This is actually, this is really weird. This is down a staircase and you would never know that it was there unless you sort of went out of your way to find it. A Hello Kitty notebook, which is just, again, a standard like ruled notebook. We've got My Melody as well. So they can go in the notebook pile. This is a lunchbox bag. It's got little twin stars. It's got My Melody, Pom Pom Pudin, Hello Kitty. Yeah, like it's an insulated kind of bag. So you can put your lunchbox in there and I, I did get a lunchbox too. Got a cinnamon roll lunchbox, which sounds like a babushka doll. Hang on, we got, ah, a cinnamon roll. This is the most kawaii version of a babushka doll you'll ever see. Okay, there we go. So it's got three. So that one's got a pink base, blue base, yellow base. That was, you know, that, that was $3.90 for this entire set. Only in Japan, guys, only in Japan. And to eat your food, Totoro chopsticks. So this is a Totoro case, and then it's got little chopsticks in there too. Might even be a spoon. No, I think it's just chopsticks. Sometimes when you buy these sets, you can get little spoons in them as well. You just go in there. So they can go in the lunchbox. We also got a Sanrio character notebook as well. We've got heaps of these little notepads. This has little twin stars pages. It's got a My Melody page. It's got, who else is in here? Oh, is that it? Oh, who's he? What's his name? Can anyone tell me what his name is? We have socks with cute little embroidered love hearts on them. From the Sanrio gift gate, this was a terrifying experience. I didn't realize that this was going to be as expensive as it was. I bought five things and it came to $50, but, if you look at this, I do think that it's justifiable. This is Little Twin Stars. It's for your card. So if you've got like a bus pass or an ID card or something, you put it in there. What I was most impressed by, <laughs> it's the little things. We got Hello Kitty clips for whatever you want to use them for. A pom pom put in, what is this? Mechanical pencil, Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty scissors and a little Twin Stars pen that has multiple different colors. And then we have WeGo. Now this was the very first place that we stopped at on our shopping trip. And looking back, I'm a little bit disappointed. I was so impressed by this when I first saw it, but then I saw some of the other pencil cases that I ended up buying, you know, like, like this one, for example, which was so much better. But this is a peach milk, peach milk drink pencil case. We got, oh, this is so cute. This is a coin purse popcorn coin purse and it's squishy like silicon. 90s best hits. This one, again, a cassette tape. You youngins won't know what this is, but it's definitely cute and aesthetic. We've got highlighters that look like milk bottles. This pen, I couldn't resist. It's got a giant love heart hanging off it. Okay, admittedly, you're not gonna be writing with that hanging off it. That is just on the lid. So it's just a really nice, simple purple pen, but I just thought, that was so cute. Oh, this pencil case, heart candy, fruit flavor. But these highlighters look like syringes. I actually have no idea what this is, but when I saw it, I knew I had to get it. I think it's a highlighter. I think that this is a love heart, and then I'm guessing that when I pull the lids off, uh -huh, uh -huh. green highlight, good, very good. Pink highlight, excellent. Yellow highlight, an essential. Fresh yummy milk. This is the same design as that one from the other store. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll use one of them myself to show you guys how some of this stationery works, and then I'll put the other in the giveaway. Oh, I see. Oh, how unusual. This is this is a notebook with a plastic cover, so then you can tear everything out, but you can keep it nice and clean. And then it's got the smaller notepads at the front there, and then the bigger one at the back. Okay, that one's really cool. I also got washi tape. I mean, we never used this sort of stuff in school when I was in school, but I'm sure that the kids these days will figure out how to use it. Just various different glittery colors that are beautiful. Ah, oh, I was not sure. I'm assuming that this is an eraser. I think this is like a My Little Pony or unicorn eraser. Ugh, don't smell it, but it's a cute little unicorn. The big bag. 
the big boy. I got, this is a gym bag, but it's got pun, which is bread. It's got a smiling bread on it. And inside, I got a mini version. I don't know what you want to keep in the mini version, but it's a mini one of the big one. And also to match, socks that have the same little piece of bread on them. This is a mirror. This is so beautiful. I just don't know. Oh, okay. So that's what it looks like on the outside. And then there's a little mirror on the inside. If you're from the 90s, you'll remember this. This is what we played when we were in school. Oh, this is so cute. Look. Look at this little guy. He's so cute. They really seem to like dinosaurs here for some reason. I don't know why, but he's absolutely adorable. So you can just use him for your keys or whatever you want to use him for. I also got these. How beautiful are they? Incredible. To put in your hair when you're going to school. There's more? There's two more things. I'm gonna have one of these for myself and one's for the giveaway. These are bags. They're glorious, glorious bags. Look at this. So it's got like a plastic sleeve in the front. They call it like an eater bag. So you can stick things like pins or whatever on this fabric in the back here. So you can show off all of your favorite pins, like your pretty pastel pins, if you have any. So I've got a purple one and there's also a pink one. So to enter the giveaway, just leave a comment below. Tell me which bag you'd like to win, pink or the purple, uh, and it's as easy as that. You can tell me some interesting stuff about school if you like, what your favorite stationary items are. Give me a little school story, something that'll make me smile. But uh, yeah, just tell me if you win, which bag would you like, pink or purple, and then I'll keep the other one. That's the rundown of everything that I got. I think this is about $500 worth of stuff. I'm gonna go through, quickly unbox everything that's in plastic and all of that. I'll give you some close-ups of how everything works and how everything writes. Let's organize all of this neatly and then I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, so it's getting dark outside. I think it's uh, time for us to head in. That's it, that's everything. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, enter the giveaway, and uh, someone's gonna be taking this giant bag of goodies home and taking it to school with them, and I'm sure that they're going to absolutely love it. So uh, don't forget to head to my Instagram, it's Pretty Pastel Please. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mwah.